Zach Morris, and I'm the owner of the Yoga Vista Studio here in downtown Vista, California. Every Monday at 11 o'clock, a group of seniors from our community come in and join us for a one-hour chair yoga class. And now you can join us too. Every class is different, but familiar. So come on in and let's get moving together. And now a little prana bath, so just take your hands, rub your hands, make them nice and hot. Oh, get that friction, especially in the palms. Remember the palms are where we receive lots of energy and where we give lots of energy. So we're cupping my hands a little bit, going like this just to kind of feel. That's that energy. And then we're going to cup around the eyes. Oh, just let it soak in through the eyelids, into the retina, into the optical nerve, all of that nourishment, the energy that we can't see, but we know it's there. And gently release. Release your hands, open your eyes, let's roll the shoulders up and back a few times. Very good. Now we're going to do another little movement. Uh, this is another Feldenkrais, and I kind of like this one as well. We're going to just take a hug, so just kind of notice which arm's on the top, it doesn't matter. And we're going to hug ourselves and pull over to the right. And as we do, we're almost pulling that shoulder over as well, turning the head that way, and then we're going to go other way. So this idea <coughs> is kind of like opening up the upper back while we're stretching our beautiful rib cage. Remember, the rib cage is like a basket in a way. So we're creating mobility here. And this is so important for our breath, for our heart, for our organs, back and forth. And now go the opposite way with your body and your head. See if you can still kind of squeeze yourself. Get a nice stretch for those shoulder blades. Good. And when you go back to the center, take your arms all the way out. Remember which one was on top. Go all the way out, and we'll take the hug the other way. So take it. Good. And then we'll just go side to side, both head and body are going the same way. So you can drop your shoulders down a little bit. And then you're pulling your shoulders like toward each other so that you're opening up the upper back. And now we'll do the opposite. Remember, head and body goes the opposite. We're always working the mobility of the chest cavity. This is going to keep your spine really flexible as well. Good. And when you bring it back to the center, we'll open up nice and wide, and we'll go backwards a little bit. So use the support of the chair, roll back. If you can, maybe lift the chin up, maybe not. Oh, find that stretch. And now we're just going to pulse a little bit with the arms, just flutter. <coughs> And then take one more hug, and we're just going to tuck our chin and release it, shake it out. Okay, a little bit with the fingers, so open and close, open and close, open and close. And then we'll take the wrists and move the fingers. Very good. And then the elbows are going to come in, and then the shoulders will come in, and guess what? The ribs are coming in too. So I want you to really turn like you're moving around as much as you can. Twist one side, the other side, look around. Good, and then we'll go off to the side of the kula, and I want you to be bouncing up and down on your sit bones. You're going back and forth. Yeah, and the other side, of course. Oh, and you're just moving everything fluid. Good, and we gotta go up a little bit. And then we're gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and down, and right. Look at your hands. Make a really, really, really good, very good, very good, very good. Into the center, and again, this is what really warms us up here. And back to the center. Sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. Oh, cup those palms so they're facing up and just feel the energy coming in. Oh, feel the breath, nice long breaths. See if your spine can be tall, so don't lean back a little bit right now. I want you to be tall and erect and strong because this energy inside of you is just making you strong. Big breath. And then gently open your eyes. Bring your feet up a little bit so let's not ignore them. Let's just move them around a little bit. Twirl them. Equals one way other way. Okay, so now we're going to work on our little opposites. Okay, so how many of you store things in the top cupboard and it's really hard to get, right? Sometimes it's so hard to get that sometimes I don't get those things. Like my vases sometimes, they're really high up there and I say, Michael, come over to my house and get me the vase, right? So we really want to do this a lot. This reaching, if you ever have like a doorway where you almost, almost can touch, and sometimes, some days you can touch and sometimes you can't, this is that movement you want, right? So you want to be reaching, and you can never touch it, huh? Okay, so I'm going to watch everybody, and this is another thing he told us in the workshop. Sometimes we just stretch from our shoulders up, but try to think of taking from your hip, your ribs, your arms up. So that gives you a little bit more, right? A little bit more length when you do that, even if you tilt side to side. We're actually going to do both arms now. Both arms reach out. Good. 
and then release. We're going to do that same sequence when we're standing up, because usually we're not sitting down and going into a cover, right? We're going to be standing up. So that's kind of kind of giving you that feeling. And this is what makes you feel taller, right? What we just did now is called axial extension. We take the spine and we just stretch it up tall, which counters this stuff. Okay, so now we're going to get the legs involved in that axial extension. So it'll be the right hand up and the left leg up. Flexing the foot so the knee is straight if you can. Good. And then release. And now it'll be the left hand up and the right foot up. And then release. And then it's going to be both hands up. Yep, both feet up. Yay, very good. And then release. And now we're going to go alternates like we're marching. So it's going to be right hand, left foot. And then we're going to go this back and forth. If you can, make sure that foot is flexed. We're going to stretch. We're going to get that um, quad strong and the hamstring stretch. Beautiful, reaching, remember I'm trying to still reach. And release, very good, shake it out. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, let's give that upper back a nice stretch. So inhale, bring the elbows up, thumbs up, eyes up. Good, and exhale, let's fold forward. So I don't want you to round forward, I want you to fold at your hips and just fold a little bit, like a halfway down. Hold it there, that's gonna strengthen your back, strengthen your core, and then inhale. Very good, and then take it all the way up one more time. Beautiful cactus, arms out. Sit back, close your eyes, let's just take a pause. Did we warm up yet? I think we did a little bit, huh? Yes. Oh yeah, and that was just upper body stuff. Oh yeah. So just bask in that. If it's heat, if it's warmth, know that your heart is working good for you right now. And then gently open your eyes. We'll scoot on up. So remember, we always want to do all the reaches with a nice straight back. So we're going to do lots of reaches now in sun salutation. So with your feet kind of parallel to each other. If it feels good to be a little wider like you were, feel free to do that. It actually gives you more space when you come forward. Uh -huh. So bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment. Maybe gaze down at the fingertips or the floor. Tall spine. Drop your shoulders. On your inhale, the arms go out, reaching up. On the exhale, arms go into cactus. We're going to fold forward and lean and stop. So we're holding here. The belly should be really kind of tucked in. You're nice and strong. Hands to kneecaps. Slide down. Your back is flat. You keep going and going and going. And then you drop your head at the very bottom. Inhale, halfway up. So you can arch your back, <coughs> lift your neck, or keep your spine long. Exhale, we're going to fold. The right hand's going to come up. So as you look up, you're looking up at your thumb. And exhale, bring it down. And then the left hand will come up. Good. And exhale, we're bringing it down. Reach your arms out to the side, a big swoop all the way up. Maybe look up if that feels good. And then return all the way back to your heart center. Beautiful. The biggest sun circles you can do. So let's get into those shoulders. Inhale. Big stretch. Exhale. Belly comes in. You're halfway down. You're holding. Drop your shoulders down a little bit. And then hands to kneecaps. A really long spine. Think of the lowest part of your back strong and straight. And then drop. Let your head hang at the bottom. Inhale. Halfway up. Exhale. We'll fold. The right hand reaches up, the fingers are going to be spread. Release it down. And then the left hand comes up. And release it down. Arms out to the side, a big swoop, biggest circle. Good. And then all the way back to heart center. Good. Last one, and then we'll build on it. So here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway down, holding in cactus arms, strong, strong shoulders. And then hands to kneecaps, slide down. Remember the hands don't have to go to the floor. Drop your head. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, we're going to fold. The right hand reaches up. Keep that elbow nice and straight. And exhale down. Inhale, the left hand all the way up. And exhale down. Draw the belly in. When you're coming up, this is so much straight for the back as you come up. And then turn your hands back to back. Oh my gosh, we're not even halfway done. Here we go. Yay, inhale up. Exhale, cactus lean. Hands to kneecaps. Slide down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, we'll fold again. Our right arm's going to reach up. Exhale, release it. Float that left arm up. Exhale. Your arms out to the side. A big swoop all the way up. Maybe look up if that feels good. And then return all the way back to your arms. Very good. Oh, you guys got the flow. Okay, so we're going to do warriors. We're going to add a little um, option to warriors today. So the right foot's going to stay. 
The left foot's going to step back, but both hands are on the chair. So that's the important part of this one. You want to make sure you're still facing forward, even though that back foot is back, usually about 45 degrees. <clears throat> Bend the right knee, and remember, always the tracking here is kneecap center, and you see your big toe. Those are the two most important things. Good. Now, left hand up. Good. Right hand up, only if it feels good. And maybe the eyes go up first, if that feels balanced, and maybe the chin goes up. So all those little options. Both hands down. Now we're going to take that left hand up again. Good. Take it on your hip. And turn your body out. And then back to the center. Take that arm up again. Very good. Back up. Balancing, strengthening. Good. Now both hands down. We're going to do three push-ups. Take a breath. Exhale. We're going to go down. Keep that elbow tucked in. Inhale. We're going to straighten it out. Exhale. We're going to go down. Inhale. We'll straighten. Last one. Exhale. We're going to go down. Let's hold it here. Let's just find it. Oh, okay. Where are you feeling it? <laughs> All right. Just drop your shoulders away from your ears because they probably have tightened up. Hold it. One more breath. And then push all the way up. Oh, those strong arms. And then bring it forward. Okay, so I did that extra one for my sister. My sister is 50, oh, what is she, 53. And she said that her arms aren't feeling like they're not strong anymore. I'm thinking, you gotta do more push-ups, right? So let's do a few more push-ups today. So the left foot straight, right foot steps back. Hands on your chair so your hips are forward, and then we'll bend that left knee. So again, just tracking, make sure that knee, because we're gonna hold it strong. We, we're gonna hold it quite a long time. So we wanna make sure it's strong and we're solid. Now, right hand up. There you go, there's your hip flexors. This is your psoas muscle right here, we're stretching. And then the other arm up, if it feels good, keep it there. Maybe just your eyeballs, just like moving the eyeballs up, or maybe even the chin up. We're bringing both hands down. And now we're gonna keep that knee bent, but we're gonna take that left right arm up again. Take it to your hip. Turn your body open so you're looking over your right shoulder a little bit. Back to the center. One more time, we'll take it up. And then we'll take the other arm up. Very good. See all of that stuff we're doing on the bottom leg, distracting ourselves with all the arm movement. So we're gonna take three push-ups. We're gonna go down, exhale, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. This time we're holding, holding for strength. So just really make those biceps work at heart. Drop your shoulders away from your ears, hold it. Find those strong, strong arm muscles. Come all the way back up. Good. Step it all the way forward. Good. Shake one leg. Shake the other leg. Good. Okay, so last pose will be tree. So feel free to grab either the behind the chair. It kind of works both times. Or side of the chair. So I'm going to do behind the chair today. So we're going to take the right foot down and the left foot up. So remember it could be in the instep one. Yeah. Find your balance and just let go. Just let go. Yeah. If you don't have it, just one hand. If you have it, and you can let go. Bring your hands to your heart. And then just notice, right? Just notice what's going on. Do you feel it in your toes? Are they gripping? Do you feel your ankles kind of wiggling? side. Now the left foot supports you and the right foot comes up. So we're just testing the waters, right? We can go both hands. Whoop. We got it. One hand. You don't really care about anything else that's going on around you. Once you feel like you're balanced, maybe bring your hands together. And the gaze is always just slightly down, a little bit on the floor, so you don't want to be looking straight ahead. You want to keep your attention a little bit more softer and inward. Breath, hold it for your strong, strong left leg. And then release it. Shake one leg out. Shake one leg out. Very good. And then we'll come down on the chair. Find your belt, but just take a little pause here. So I eased up on you on those standing postures because I know we did a lot of heating up. So let's just sit back, close your eyes. Your belt can be on your lap or not. I just want you to 
absorb all the strength that you just created when you were standing on those two strong legs. Amazing, amazing how the weight of our whole body can be supported on our ankles, and that is why the feet are so important. We have to feel grounded and strong in our feet and our ankles in order for the whole skeleton to kind of be supported. Because if the skeleton is not supported comfortably, then the muscles take over, and that's where we get tension, and that's where we get tightness, that's where we get pain. So the skeleton is so important to be strong on our bones. So we're going to use the belt, but we're not going to do the leg things first. Uh, we're going to actually do some arms. Because now that we're loosened up a little bit, I want to get a little bit more into the chest. All of us, 100%, everybody on this planet probably can benefit from more opening in the chest. So this one I love because the belt is the, the greatest tool to get you a little bit more open here. So you're going to take the belt maybe like two feet across, possibly. You're up, 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 and then you're going to go back. And I want you to go back maybe beyond your ears. So that's the sensation I want you to feel. And notice where you're feeling it, right? So are you feeling it in the front chest muscles or are you feeling it in the back? Long stretch. Good. Then bring it back. We're going to go a little bit deeper. So you always stop where it's too much, but you slide both hands out a little bit, maybe another three or four inches on each side, and you're going up, and then you're going back. And that right there are the pectoral muscles. We're opening up those, and we're breathing into that spaciousness. We're going to make our spine nice and strong and straight when we do this. Good. And back. Now this one might get tricky, so just try it. If it doesn't feel good, then don't do it. The arms go out even a little bit further, and we're going to try to bring it all the way back down. Yeah, just try. And you can take the belt out as wide as you need to. Okay? The belt goes as wide as your arms can possibly go, right? So, I mean, wherever you can go on that. Now, I see a couple people doing this. Right, 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 right. Like one is so much the favorite than the other one, right? So we can't do that. We want to go to the balance of both of them, the same effort of rotation. Very good. Now let's go to the point one more time back, and when we almost like stop, like we can't go any further. Hold that there. Does that feel good? That should feel nice, huh? So if you ever do that in um, uh, middle of a door, with the door open, you take both arms to the side of the door and you lean forward into the door frame. That is such a good stretch. It just brings everything open, takes the whole back, and makes it really strong. So think about that. Sit back. Oh boy. You're going to sit up so tall today. Roll your shoulders around. Good. Forward. And then twist a little bit side to side. You don't want to be doing that. Yeah. So the other thing um, this wonderful teacher said is if you work on the computer, I know some of you probably don't work as much as I do, but if you're doing anything sitting down for a very long time, the worst thing we could do is be static for too long. He said to actually uh, affect, I mean, change your workspace so that you're affecting the way you move. So instead of having everything right here by you, actually have your Kleenex box over here. Oh, I gotta powder my nose or use the Kleenex. You gotta go like this. Right? Or I've got to reach for a pen and I've got to go like this. Or I've got to go into that drawer and I've got to go like this. So that movement, so let's start to do a little bit of that reaching, right? So just reaching for something, grabbing something high, getting something low. All of that movement, and just notice what's going on. It's not just your arms and your shoulders, right? Your ribs and your waist and your back is getting uh, stretched and open. So all of that, you know, sometimes we think of convenience as everything right in front of us. What was that? They have those couches these days now, right? They have the cup holder, and they have the little eating tray, and everything is like right here. I can just sit here my whole life and be totally at peace, you know, so with everything that I need, right? But yeah, and the remote is like that, right? Yeah. You used to have to get up and change the channel. There was a little exercise involved in that, right? So think about that in your daily life. What you're noticing is convenient, could possibly creating a little static stuff too, right? Okay, so now let's take, let's take it, um, care of our beautiful leg. So we'll take the belt across the ball of our right foot. And again, the, the belt slides, and this is why we use the belt, because it gets to the perfect, perfect spot. And remember, the knee is straight. Okay. 
So for anybody who ever has had knee replacements, how important was that, right? They really want you to make sure that your knee can totally get straight like this. So for those of you who don't have knee replacements, thank goodness you can do this, right? So take a breath in. As you exhale, maybe that leg comes up a little bit, just until you feel like, wow, that's a little tug there, and I feel it, and I don't want to go any further. And then we'll close our eyes, soften our face, and we'll take five deep breaths here. So we talked about making the feet strong, right? These are making the bones strong of your legs, which of course feed right into your foot. So all of this is benefiting you, tall and strong. Two more breaths. And gently open your eyes. You'll grab the belt now with your right hand. Your left arm will be out with your thumb up because that opens up that shoulder a little bit more. And then we'll take that right leg all the way out. See if you can keep straight with your spine if you can. All the better. And then gaze at your thumb. Beautiful neck release. And then back to the center. Let's grab the belt now with the left hand. The right arm goes out. The thumb is up. A little crisscross if that feels good into the outer edge of your right leg. Beautiful. Bring it back to the center. And now we're going to take that right ankle, place it on the left knee. And remember, if you can't get it up that high, then you can always just crisscross it down here and you can hold the belt there. Otherwise, if you're tall and you're up here, I want that foot to be flexed and your belt actually to be across the left. You don't need it right now. Okay. Hands to your shins. We're going to inhale straight and tall and almost like a little back arch. So, like, take your shoulders back so you feel there's a little back arch going on there. Yeah, that's what I want. That's your pelvic tilt. Now, take your heart center and bring it forward. So not rounding your back, keep it straight and you won't go very far, I promise you, probably like three inches at the most. And then we're gonna hold here and breathe so you can close your eyes if you can concentrate or you can just gaze down on the floor, just find a little spot here and just breathe. Breathe into the strong right hip that you have. It's gonna keep you walking tall trip on a curve, you're going to catch yourself. All of these things we're preparing ourselves just in case. Gently bring it all the way up. We'll add one little twist to this. So take your hands and interlace them. Wrap them around your right knee and you're going to bring it in towards you. So you're kind of springing it in. Drop your shoulders and we're going to turn and look over to the right. So just breathing into that a little bit more stretch there on the right hip. Back to the center. Bring that right knee in so you're going to hold it so it's kind of in that neutral spot. Flex your foot a second. Good. Now see how high your knee is. See if you can keep it there. I'm going to go over your hands like this. I want to make sure no one's cheating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then straighten it out. Oh, my gosh. And then lower. Oh, that's a lot of work, right? Goodness. So this leg is so darn strong. Now let's get this one nice and strong. Okay, so left leg. Heels across the ball of the Straighten it out. Sit up tall, maybe drop your shoulders down a little bit, good. Take a breath, and exhale, bring that left leg straight until you feel that little tug. Close your eyes or not, and we'll do five breaths here. So five breaths is basically just kind of a slower count to hold and notice, and be mindful, and create strength, and just to slow us down. the strong calf muscles. Notice that stretch behind your kneecap. You can even imagine there's this beautiful flow of energy going down from the hip bone, out through the heel, and in from the heel and up through the, the leg and through the hip bones. Oh, that beautiful energy. Making you strong. Last breath. And then gently open your eyes. If they're closed, you'll grab the belt now with your left hand. Right hand is out. Remember, your thumb is up. Your palm is facing forward. And we're going to open up. So a little bit of hip rotation here as you gaze over to that thumb. Soften your feet. Good. Back to the center. We'll grab the belt now with the right hand. Left hand goes out. And you're crossing over only until you feel a stretch of any sort. So sometimes I actually feel it under my kneecap when I do this. So just notice it. Always have that little bit of conversation with yourself, like I notice it here, I feel it here. Good, when you come back to the center, we're gonna bend that knee. Remember the foot is flexed, we're just resting on the top. We can actually go on the bottom. And if it's on the bottom and you're keeping it on the bottom, you're just holding it 
gently opening up the hip. Otherwise, we go a little deeper. So the belt goes across the left. We're going to grab a hold of the shin. We're going to inhale straight. And again, drop your shoulders in a little back arch. Just that little tilt forward with the back. Good. Now the lean. And remember, it doesn't go very much until you feel the outer muscles of your left hip. And we'll close our eyes or just stare down at the floor. Five breaths. This works on opening up the piriformis muscle, which the sciatic nerve sometimes gets stuck in there. So if you ever have that sensation of the sciatic nerve pinching and shooting down your leg, try this. And you have to breathe long breaths because the long breaths is what actually releases the muscle tension. So if you ever have any pain, it's long breaths because the muscles contract, they get very tight, that causes a lot of pain and nerve pinching. So it's that exhale that, oh, lets it go. Good. Gently come back up. Interlace the hands. We'll draw them around the left knee. Bring that left knee in a little bit, and then we'll drop the shoulders and turn to the left. So you're, you're guiding this, right? You can squeeze that knee in a little bit. You'll notice where you're going to feel it if you're doing that, and make sure you're still breathing. And when you go back to the center, we'll take that left kneecap and bring it up as high as you can and hold it. Know where we're going to go on this. So we're going to hold it strong and the arms are in cactus arms. And this is your hip flexor, strong. Good. Now the leg is straight out just for a moment. And then we're dropping it. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of work. What's going on? Why am I working so hard today? <laughs> Good. Bring your legs out in front and just move them around. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to get into the hips a little bit because we did, definitely did a really good stretch right here. So let's take it into the goddess position. And we're just going to um, do what is called windshield wiper uh, twist. So we're going to drop both knees and we're going to turn them over to the right. And as we do that, our whole body kind of goes to the right. Your hands are on your lap or on your thighs and back to the center. And then you're going to drop your knees over to the left and back to the center. And as we do this back and forth, you're going to start to maybe get a little bit of a fluid motion that maybe the knee that's down, you're going to straighten it a little bit. Yeah. And straighten it. Very good. Gonna open up the hips. Very good. Keep your spine tall. I see somebody leaning forward. So just keep your spine nice and tall. And one more time, this side. And when you come back to the center, let's walk it all the way back in. We'll end it with a foot stomp. Okay, so foot stomp is just gonna increase, increase the circulation in your feet. So we're gonna take the right hand first. I mean, we're up, and down, up, and down. Good, so you want that noise. Because you know that basically it's just gravity that's pulling you down, stomping you on the floor. This is what you do every step you take. This is what gravity does. It takes all the blood from the bottom of your feet, pushes it back up to your heart, and now guess what? No hands, everybody. Marching in place. Very good. Oh, I love it. Very good. Sit back. Bring those feet up. Love those feet. Point and flex your feet. So remember, 25% of all the bones in our body are in our beautiful feet. <coughs> nice and healthy. Our whole skeleton supports, is supported on those. And then rotate one way. Rotate the other way. Take it out a little bit. We'll rotate them inward. Get those outer hip muscles when we do that right here. And then when we go in and we're going out, we're getting the inner thigh muscles. Toes out. Shake it out a little bit. Hands up. Move your fingers. Good. Wiggle. Good. Very good. Shake. Now. Oh yeah. Shake. Shake, 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 shake. And we can be sitting. Very good, everybody. How's everybody feel? We cooled down a little bit, huh? Wow. Okay, so I know last Thursday at the library I did not work you very hard. You told me that. You told me that, right? So I made up for it today, okay? So we got lots of energy now. So let's take it into Shavasana. You know what you can do? You can be nice and quiet, sitting in your chair, leaning back on the beautiful cushion, or you can be on the floor.
bring our hands to our hearts. Let's kind of refresh our beautiful minds what this word namaste means as we end every class in this beautiful greeting. It's a greeting, it's a salute basically to each other. And not just a salute to the person that we see, but more so to the spirit that's inside the person. So namaste means the light and the spirit that is in me sees and honors the light and the spirit that is in you. Namaste. 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 Return to your neighbors. Namaste. Namaste. All the beautiful lights and spirits. Namaste. 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 Namaste.